Glenn, thanks for that live report. The Western Mass News is your election authority. Some of the most anticipated results from last night's election were those four ballot questions. And some of them were even too close to call last night. Western Mass News reporter Paris Dunford is getting answers on how questions that were approved will affect Bay State residents. Paris. Chris, Mary, the results of questions one and four took until today to finalize. We're taking a deeper look at how the final result of those questions will play out in the next couple years. For many voters, Western Mass News caught up with on Tuesday night, the ballot questions are what they felt most passionate about, rather than the races themselves. There were four questions on this year's midterm election ballot. Question one, dubbed as the millionaire's tax, the people voted yes on that. On question two, regarding dental insurance companies taking on more patient costs, people also voted yes. Bay State residents voted down question three, which would have allowed more retail alcohol licenses. And finally, on question four, on whether or not to give driver's licenses to unauthorized immigrants, the people voted yes. Now, two of those questions, one and four, were too close to call Tuesday night, and the results weren't announced until midday Wednesday. They're also considered the more controversial questions on the ballot. We took our questions about ballot question one to political science professor Maria Toyota. She tells us the question applies to state income tax. The state constitution will be amended to impose an additional 4% tax on income over $1 million. But that doesn't just affect millionaires. With the way that property values are here in Massachusetts, if you sold your home, you know, and, and had a net gain of over a million dollars, you could be subject to that tax. Those in favor want to see upgrades to Bay State's infrastructure and schools, since that's where state leaders say the money will go. The Massachusetts Teachers Association releasing this statement, which reads in part, quote, students, families, public schools and public colleges in Massachusetts won an unprecedented victory today with the passage of the fair share amendment. Public education and transportation in the Commonwealth will receive billions of vital dollars in additional annual funding, allowing for investments that will benefit every resident of the state. However, Toyota says those in opposition of this amendment are wondering why the state needs to increase taxes when they had so much revenue this year. Questions that people have about the sur surcharge taxes, why now, why are we doing this when you know we just had a, a major uh, surplus in, in, in taxes and, and people are getting refunds. Some people are also worried this increased income tax will force business owners out of the state. Now to question four. A law was passed this year by legislators allowing unauthorized immigrants to obtain driver's license in the state. Governor Charlie Baker vetoed the bill, but voters were given a chance to weigh in, and the majority decided to support it by voting yes to question four. State Representative Trisha farley Bouvier was in favor of this law because she says it will lead to safer roads. We know that uh, people are driving, whether they have driver's license or not, and so what we're going to do is take the great, uh, a great majority of those and give them the ability to get a driver's license. Now that law won't go into effect until July 1st of next year, 2023. Reporting live in studio, Paris Dunford for Western Mass News.